On the evening of December 7th, 2001, a BNSF empty grain train was sitting in a siding outside of a city called Armento, Wyoming. The train consisted of two engines leading and 105 empty grain cars. The leader of this train was SD40-2-7938 and trailing right behind it was another SD40-2-6329. The crew members have been leaving the train on the siding for a few days and making sure that the switches were correct. However, the crew members made a critical mistake. Meanwhile, heading towards Lower Montana was a BNSF Mixed Manifest freight train. The train consisted of three engines leading with an unknown amount of freight cars and also was heading west. The leader of this train was Dash 944CW. 4882 944CW681 and SD40 2 7829. BNSF 4882 train was going 47 miles per hour when the original speed limit at the time was 49 miles per hour. Then, as soon as they approached Arminton, Wyoming, the crew noticed something and became shocked in disbelief, knowing that the switches were not set properly and then moments later it goes onto the siding and then the unthinkable happens the mixed manifest train collides with the tie down train at 47 miles per hour due to this 4882 climbed on top of 7938 probably beating most of the frame, and then fell onto its right side, beyond the 7938 locomotive. 4882 was lying on its side, and 681 was standing up. As a matter of fact, the engineer of 4882 was killed, while the conductor received cuts. But, what was the real cause of this accident? What caused this to occur? It didn't take long for the NTSB to find out that the cause was the switch not being set for the main, and instead was it set for the siding. So who was responsible for that? That would be the crew of 7938 for not switching the, the switch properly and making sure that it was correct. In the end, 7938 was deemed a total loss and scrapped. 7928 was eventually had its parts scrapped and was sold to National Railway Equipment in 2007 and is still there as of 2016. 681 was repaired but returned with different lettering. 6329 was repaired but in 2011 it was renumbered to 1910 and still operates to this day. 4882 was repaired and continued service but in 2021 it was retired and sold to GECX. It's been 22 years since this wreck had happened, and it's not the end of these wrecks at all.